Well, good afternoon, everybody. Nick here. It is 2.43 on this beautiful summer day in Lebanon. So, today's video is, we're going to talk about, I want to first talk about the new Shoreline East schedule and how that will influence your travels between New London and Grand Central. So, pretty much, it's exactly the same as it was. The only difference is that if you go in the later part of the day, like, if you went, say you decided to go to Grand Central on in the evening, you would have to take a bus from New London to Old Sabre to meet up with the M8. Now, those M8s are very good on this line. And the reason why is they're electric. And you have electric trains on that line. So, it works. Now, you're probably wondering, why did they change from the old clunkers to that? Well, the reason why they changed that is... Because those liveries were outdated um, and the cost of diesel, you know, it was all of that. So they didn't have the modern amenities that most people look for, like the ability to charge your phone on the train, uh, a modern bathroom, also the ASI. Now, ASI stands for Automatic Station Identifier. So, let's say, for example, if it came to Lebanon, which would be nice, but I don't think that, I don't see that happen, it would say, this station is Lebanon. And then it would say, this is the train to wherever. Well, most of the time, it's to Grand Central. Or, if you're coming from Grand Central, it would say New Haven. That is the voice that you hear at every stop. Now, the nice thing is, if you have somebody that is blind, they actually can hear what the next stop is, or what the current stop is. I can do a perfect impression of it, as you've heard in those simulation videos that I have been posting. Just as a side note, I am going to see about fits in the flash in, on, in, the, in the video. I am wondering if I have to uninstall and reinstall the Xbox game bar that we use to record that. Or we'll just have to find a different screen recorder. So, either way, we're going to look into that, and we will get that squared away. So, don't be surprised if some of those videos where the flashing happens are taken down. And also, as a reference, on the weekends, if you're going... Excuse me. If you're going down to Grand Central, Larchmont, or wherever, from Saybrook, you are on track two. Why? Because that is how it is on the weekends. Now, logically speaking, because in our minds, when we see the signage at the station... It usually it you, you usually will see something that looks like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
right? Usually, you'll see it like this, where you have the name of the station, the track you're on, and then it will say Boston to the right or New York to the left. But on the weekends, on the weekends, this is what it is. So basically, a New York bound train would go in this go in this direction. Or basically, if you're standing on the platform, basically a New York bound train would go this way, and a Boston bound train would go this way. So it is the opposite. I'll write that down. It's opposite. So just as a side note, guys, make a note of that. And usually that is until, like, I believe that th they said that's until, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So usually in the afternoon on a Saturday or a Sunday, you would see the New York-bound train on the correct side, which is track one. So, basically, I would say get a copy of the Shoreline East schedule. It is available on ShorelineEast.com. And I will put the link to it in the description. Also, I also wanted to remind you guys that while you are still hearing this announcement... Proper wearing of a mask has recovered the nose and mouth, and so on, regardless of social distancing, vaccination status. That is an old announcement from last year, when it was required, when it was mandatory that you had to wear your mask. That is optional, guys. It is an optional thing to do. While it is encouraged... You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Because it's your choice. So, just a little bit about the shoreline schedule. Really, nothing has changed. Just, I just wanted you to be aware of you know things to look things to look for excuse me and so here is a preview of what is to come this summer okay so we know Eduardo is in El Paso at the moment but the good news is, he is going to come to visit, which is very good. Sorry, my nose is like running. Anyway, so we have his visit to look forward to, and also coming in December, we will have the right to go to El Paso. Or excuse me, I will have the right to go to El Paso as well. And we did some searching around, and it looks like we need to save about 1300 Not bad at all. That's really not bad at all. And basically, we can use that financial aid refund that we usually get in October. And then we can book those that flight, those flights from Warwick to, to the Deep South, whom we, which we are calling Lebanon of the Way South. So, bringing New England... To the deep south. And bringing him home. Even though that is home for him. 
it is home here too. Bringing him back up here, taking him to a game at Fenway, and taking him where we went over the weekend as well. Larchmont, what a beautiful little town. It really was. And if you were to go down there for a day, here's my recommendation. I would say, if you're coming from Old Saybrook, you take the 843 train, Shoreline East to New Haven, and you follow those steps as usual. You know, you change in New Haven, you take Metro North New Haven to Stanford, and then change at Stanford to Larchmont. You, you would be there by 1130. And give yourself maybe three or four hours. So when you get off the train, check out the farmer's market. Locally grown stuff. And it's literally right in the parking lot of the station. So really convenient. So just walk up the elevator. Just take the elevator up. And there you go. Then have lunch at the Larchmont Tavern. It has anything that you could possibly imagine. Anything. And then walk around town. There's an ice cream shop. There are little shops that you can walk through. But here is the catch. I would say take either the 215 or the 315 from there to Stanford and then Stanford back to New Haven. So that way you don't miss your Shoreline East connection. So, you could drive there, but I always encourage anybody to take the train. Because it is so much safer this time of year. Now, I'm not saying what happened back on 523, 21 will happen again. You never know. But I always encourage you guys to take the train as much as possible. And it is a convenient resource that a lot of people on the shoreline have at their disposal. Well, us folks up here in northern New London County, we don't have that because we don't need it up here. Lebanon is not a commuter town. So, the whole point of this video is is to change the shoreline east and make sure you guys get a hold of that schedule and always be sure to stay behind that yellow safety strip until it comes to a complete stop and to get a grip. Meaning... When you are moving in between cars, like if you're on Amtrak and you grab a snack, always hold on to the seat back or the overhead rack when you are moving between cars. And always remember to watch the gap between the terrain and the platform. And that is, and that is today's video.